This is the third in a series of quick start videos for Gibbs Cam. This video is going to cover the very basics of turning. It's a quick start video, so it's not going to get very in depth. If you have any questions about some of the parameters in turning or how to do very specific things in turning, please give our tech support a call. So the first thing I want to do is come up to my document control up here in the upper left. And I want to make sure that my machine is selected as a lathe. You can see here I have many machines in my list, but I want to make sure that I have that horizontal generic shank. Once I have my machine, I'm going to go ahead and open up my tiles for my tools and for my cam. Again, if you have any questions about the interface or opening up tiles or anything that I've done here, please refer to the earlier quick start videos or give us a call. I'm gonna go ahead and create a turning tool by double clicking in this tile. Now you might see something that looks like this. It may have the milling tools and the lathe tools listed. We can go ahead and just click on this arrow and close off those mill tools. So I'm just gonna select this 80 degree cutter. Here I can adjust the orientation of the tool. Now I'm going to double click down in my processes and I'm going to choose rough. And I wanna choose that tool that I had just made. I can also drag that tool down on top of that tile. So here are the parameters. Again, I'm not gonna go over each one of these. So I just want to rough out this out of stock. Here are the parameters. Now what I need is the geometry. I need to select 2D geometry to define my tool path. Instead of creating it and having it on the model all the time, I can actually use what's called the profiler. And this creates a sliced plane on the model. This works with milling and turning. I've used it in the second quick start video. And I can select the geometry from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And I have these markers. The black square is the feature or the line that I want the toolpath to stop on. And the white is where I want it to start. It's either or depending on which way the tool's going. We can see here that the blue arrow, the blue is what's going to be cut. So the blue arrow is the cut side. We can see that it's cutting the wrong side. I can just click on that arrow and flip it around. Now these round markers tell me where my tool path will start and stop on those features. So I wanna run over the end of that a little bit. So I'm gonna leave this at forward, back and forth, and my cut depth, that's each step down. I'm gonna leave it 100 thousandths, and I'm gonna go ahead and click do it. So there's my tool path. I can simulate this tool path by coming up here in the middle, where it says machine sim, I'm just gonna click op sim. So I don't wanna model the machine, I just wanna see that operation being cut. So there's the roughing. So let's go ahead and do a finishing routine. I can clear this out over here on the bottom left. And I'm gonna create a finishing tool. I'm gonna to double click in my tile. I'm just gonna select this 35 degree cutter. I have a point down. Again, double clicking in my process. This time I'm gonna do a contour and I'm gonna use a tool that I just created. I'm gonna go ahead and tell Gibbs Cam where to start and stop again. I'm gonna make this a little shorter than my roughing. I'm gonna switch sides, make sure this cutting on the correct side. Now if I hit redo, it's going to replace the roughing routine with that contour. So I want to actually do it. Do it will add it to the list on the right. Let's go ahead and simulate that tool path. And there's the finished tool path. You can see this faceting around the end. That's just my video card. That's not what the tool path is going to look like. Okay, so now what I would like to do is just do a really basic threading routine just on this flat. So let me clear out my processes. 
I'm going to create a threading tool and drag that down here. And then I'm going to select thread. I'm going to select where I want the thread to start and stop. And I'm going to actually pick the feature beyond where I really want it. So now I can turn that around. You can see that it's going up that. If I zoom in here, you can see that it's going up that radius a little bit. I'm just going to move my marker to that point. And what I want is I really do want Gibbs Camp to start that thread like way out here. So I get a nice big lead in on it. I'm going to select from shape and I'm going to go a hundred thousandths down. Let's go ahead and click do it. Now let's go ahead and check out what that looks like. Here's my roughing. Here's my finishing. And then there's that threading. I'm going to come down here and fit it to screen so we can see it. So that is the basics of turning. If you'd like any more information on turning inside of Gibbs Cam, give our tech support a call. Thank you so much.